so over the next seven days there's a ton of stuff um, to do I'm not sure I'll get it all done but I'm certainly gonna try so I've got a bunch of uh, black cow compost to spread in the, the different beds uh, I have all of these uh, plants that I impulse purchased at Lowe's the other day um, that are actually going to go out on the, our median strip. My hope is to put them uh, out there, uh, artfully arranged, and uh, work on a little um, arrangement out there. But um, here's a bunch of beds that I have to clean up. And here... Two giant bags of composted horse manure that I need to spread out in the orchard. Uh, there are some uh, hyssop plants. Uh, there's the compost tea that uh, I was working, sorry, comfrey tea that I was working on uh, in the last video. There's the other one. Those are to be left alone for the next two weeks. Uh, as you can see there and there, I have a ton of plants that I need to finally get in the ground. Uh, I'm kind of glad actually that uh, it's going to be so uh, wet fortunately for the next few days because that makes for pretty good conditions for planting I need to plant these um, lambs ears I need to plant all this rhubarb I need to plant these gojis and beech plum and cranberry and uh, loganberry I need to plant that apple tree I need to plant these service berry trees and currants and I need to plant these blueberries and uh, pine berries and uh, alpine strawberries and you can see there's one and where's another one there you can see the pots in the orchard I have to get all of this orchard um, sheet mulched and those great vines there are actually seven i've got around the property need to go in and the big big project is i need to clean up all of the squash vines i need to get them down they're not going to do anything this year except continue to produce more vegetation or vegetative matter which is great because i'm going to mulch it all but uh they're done so i need to bring them down and i'm going to start this morning by replacing the light bulbs on those two lights so anyhow stay tuned for more updates as we go along uh, doing the gardening as best I can uh, here while uh, Hurricane Joaquin rolls through South Boston. All right, so that side is all clear. All the squash plants are down. Also some of the okras. We've cleaned up some of the beds. Um, we uncovered a bunch of uh, other trees that uh, or plants that I put down there. A bunch of the uh, raspberries and, and blackberries, sorry, that are up here. I'll show you those. <clears throat> but yeah, basically what we did is as I chopped them, I, uh, I used them to set up the outline of the new beds that are coming. So I'll be sheet mulching on top of all these to help build up new beds. I found, I mean I knew they were back there but they weren't doing well, but I found some of my uh, uh, weeping sequoias. They weren't doing so great so I transplanted them up here um, along the path edge and I think they'll be happier. I'm excited about that. Uncovered another little pine that I had in there the uh, the pines and the sequoias I basically just I needed a source of pine needles in my yard but I needed small trees so uh, they were the solution that I came up with I found a uh, my Kiowa blackberry which is this one right here was doing just fine it sent out a long long runner that shot across the pathway here and was uh, putting down roots in there so I cut it and I uh, transplanted it to another spot up in the front yard up here so uh, all in all pretty good um, today's also my wife's birthday so we did a lot of different stuff today but we did get this done I replaced the bulbs up here so we have light again at night and uh, you know it's coming along little by little is uh, the general way that uh, that I do things so it's raining so I'm gonna go ahead and head in but uh, there's a little update on what went down at the homestead today I'm sorry, one last thing I wanted to add, a lot of the uh, extra plant matter that came from those squash. Um, and I had three kinds of squash there. I had um, uh, zucchini rampicante, uh, an Italian squash, and uh, I also had uh, just straight up good old butternut. But then I also had, um, and I can't remember the name, but it was this giant Peruvian squash. And um, 
And I feel bad because I started to take it down and I noticed that it was finally like fruiting. It had um, some little, uh, you know, the starts of some on it. But anyhow, it just wasn't going to be enough time next year, I know, to uh, uh, get those started earlier. But what they've done is uh, the leaves are much darker and anyhow, they produce a lot of uh, extra biomass. And I'm just piling that all up down here because I'm trying to build a, a little berm, a little uh, hoogle bed of sorts in here eventually because I'm going to plant some apples in here uh, alongside of the driveway. So I need to build a mound up. These are the leaves of that uh, Peruvian squash. You can see they're much darker than uh, normal squash. And somewhere in here is one of the uh, um, little gourds. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. Um, all this looks super jungly. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, it really got out of control um, over the summer. But there's actually um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight um very very small heritage apple trees in here well actually they're not so small anymore they got bigger but um there's one of them this is a, a hubbardson's none such there's a hubbardson's none such winter banana virginia beauty uh crow's egg uh black limber twig jelly flower sweet um king david arkansas black um are the ones that are in here and anyhow, this has been a big project, but when the landscaping's not overtaken by weeds, it actually looks quite nice. But anyhow, I'll take care of that later. My phone's getting wet now, so gotta go. But I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the snapshot of the work that we did today. Thanks.